Benz was born with unique silvery hair. Many assumptions were made to explain this oddity, but doctors were really shocked when they finally discovered the reason for Benz's unique hair color. The moment that Benz was born at Zekes Fehervar Hospital in Hungary, the doctors and nurses took one look at him and were all thrown into a whirlwind of astonishment and bewilderment. Benz's hair was uniquely silvery in color. The medics had never seen anything like it before. White hair is always associated with very old people, not a newborn baby. Benz's parents, Claudia and Thomas, were also quite puzzled about their new baby's unique hair and skin tone. Surprisingly enough, their two older kids, Bodhi and Irvin, had been born with normal dark hair. So what was with Benz's unique white hair? They both wondered. The couple wondered if the white hair was a sign of a serious underlying health problem. So the couple went to the hospital chief doctor, Dr. Kovac, and voiced their concerns to him. Dr. Kovac calmly assured them that there was nothing to worry about at that point. The doctor further told the couple that the hospital would conduct a series of tests on Benz to discover the reason for his unique hair. The tests proved inconclusive. Hence, the doctors were unable to exactly pinpoint the reason for Benz's unique hair. But they all suggested that Benz's unique appearance was a result of albinism. In other words, Benz was an albino. Albinism is a condition that affects how the body makes melanin, which is responsible for skin, hair, and eye coloration. Albinism can be dangerous to some extent, as the lack of melanin can leave the skin completely exposed to harmful UV radiation from the sun. Claudia and Thomas became really worried after Dr. Kovac informed them of the test's results. Claudia's maternal instincts kicked into top gear at once, so she became deeply concerned about how albinism could affect Benz's life. She worriedly thought of how albinism would make Benz's skin more vulnerable to health issues like sunburns, skin cancer, among other numerous skin infections. She was also concerned about how the condition would affect Benz's vision. Would Benz's albinism cause him to be half-blind, colorblind, or have trouble seeing in bright light and needing to wear glasses all the time? Claudia worried. Moreover, the couple also worried about the social effects Benz's condition would have on his life. Would Benz be bullied because of his appearance? Would he have trouble making friends? Would his condition turn him into an unhappy, withdrawn boy? The couple wondered. Dr. Kovac saw the worry and anxiety in the couple's eyes. So he tried his very best to reassure them that Benz was fine. Albinism is not a life-threatening condition, and there are many effective resources currently available to help people with albinism cope with their condition and live healthy, normal lives, the doctor told the couple. Dr. Kovac also informed the couple that a series of other tests would be conducted on Benz to determine if he had any underlying illnesses. While the couple waited for the test results, Tama's mother Lena arrived at the hospital with the couple's two older kids, Bodhi and Irvin. As expected, the two boys were really excited to see their new baby brother, so they quickly gathered around his crib to get a closer look at him. As for Lena, the moment she took her first look at Benz, she just couldn't help but think that there was something truly special about him. To her, Benz was the most beautiful baby in the whole wide world. When Lena was told that Benz had been diagnosed with albinism, she strongly rejected the diagnosis. According to her, she had seen a lot of albinos in her long lifetime, so she knew how they generally looked, and Benz didn't look like one to her. Very simple in short. Bodhi and Irvin were really fascinated by the unique looks of their little baby brother. They just couldn't help but take turns to caress his unique white hair. Bodhi noticed that his white hair was soft and silky to the touch, while Irvin was more fascinated by Benz's piercing blue eyes, which seemed to sparkle like a star. The two boys had basically accepted little Benz as one of them, despite his odd looks. And rather than being disgusted or frightened by his looks, they were in fact mesmerized by it. Finally, the results of the medical tests were out. The tests confirmed that Benz had no underlying sickness whatsoever. His whole body system was found to be in perfect condition. Claudia was hugely relieved by the positive results of the tests. Even though she had really wanted the tests to conclusively reveal the cause of Benz's white hair once and for all, she was still glad that nothing was medically wrong with her baby boy. That was what really mattered to her. As for Benz's albinism, they would always find effective ways to manage it with time, Claudia reasoned. Claudia was so relieved that she even posted pictures of her son on her social media pages, and people were stunned by his unique snow white hair. The photos immediately went viral and were shared thousands of times. Even news outlets around the country picked up on the unique case. People from all over the country commented on the photos, expressing their love and admiration for the unique baby. They dubbed him Prince Charming and praised his unique beauty. 
they sent well wishes to the family. Hence, even before he left the hospital, Benz had become an online and media sensation. Finally, it was time for the couple to take their new baby boy home. Once home, Benz's two older siblings just couldn't get their hands off him, as they simply loved playing with and cuddling him all day long. They really doted on Benz. Claudia and Thomas themselves loved and cherished Benz so much. The whole family was happy with their new baby when something happened. Ben suddenly fell terribly sick. He lost his appetite and started losing weight. Ben's body temperature was always abnormally high and he started developing fevers. The couple were really confused and worried about Ben's new condition. They initially thought that his fevers were due to the terrible cold as it was in the middle of a severe winter season. So they gave him common baby's flu tablets. But then they started noticing that Ben's skin was showing some signs of discoloration. Fearing that Benz might be suffering from some kind of skin infection, the couple decided to rush him to his birth hospital. But unfortunately for the couple, the Zekes Feherwar Hospital was a public hospital, and doctors in all the public hospitals across the country were then on an indefinite strike over pay rise issues. So Thomas and Claudia had no other option left but to take Benz to a private clinic for proper medical treatment. Once the couple arrived with Benz at a private clinic named Mitchvich Clinic, the owner of the clinic, one Dr. Mitrovich, took one look at Benz and declared to the couple that their son was most likely suffering from a serious skin infection. The couple were stunned beyond belief. Claudia started crying immediately. Thomas consoled his wife the best he could, reminding her that the doctor had only made a suggestion. Hence, she should quieten down until the necessary tests was concluded. Dr. Mitrovich asked the couple about the symptoms that Benz was exhibiting. The couple told him all the symptoms they had observed so far. Then the couple was made to wait while Benz underwent a battery of tests. The tests lasted for hours and the waiting was excruciating for Claudia and Thomas. At long last, Dr. Mitrovich appeared in the waiting room, wearing a sad and wary expression on his face, which was enough to tell anyone that cared enough to notice that whatever news the doctor had for the couple wasn't good. He then signaled to Claudia and Thomas to follow him to his office. Dr. Mitrovich wasted no time at all before he went straight to the point. He explained to the couple who were both looking quite anguished already that the test confirmed that their baby boy had a very rare but deadly skin infection known as necrotizing fasciitis. The infection was often referred to as flesh-eating bacteria. He further added that the infection was caused by Benz's albinism. Claudia felt that her worst fears had come to reality that her beloved son's albinism had caused him a very deadly skin infection. It took the combined efforts of Thomas and Dr. Mitrovich to calm her down a bit, but she continued crying mildly. The doctors then assured the couple that the infection was not a death sentence. He further promised that he was going to do his very best to cure their baby of the infection. Benz was promptly admitted into the clinic. The couple had to pay for a special single room ward for Benz, so that Claudia would remain with him at the clinic. Then, Thomas drove back home alone to get all the necessary stuff for his wife and baby. When Thomas drove into his compound, Bodhi and Irvin rushed out to meet him at once, as they had been eagerly awaiting their parent and brother's return. But when the two boys saw that their father had returned alone, they became very saddened, almost to the point of tears. They anxiously asked their father why he was back alone and if Benz was okay. Thomas immediately drew his two boys into a hug. Then faking a smile, he lied to them that the doctors had only diagnosed Benz with the flu. Thomas further assured the boys that Claudia and Benz would surely be back home in just a couple of days. Bodhi and Irvin really felt reassured by their father's words. Back at the clinic, Claudia just couldn't stop crying as she lay beside the sleeping Benz. She recalled that her cousin, Anna, had recently given birth to a baby boy named Jan. Unfortunately, Jan was born with a rare skin condition that caused him to have seizures. The seizures began mildly when Jan was just a few days old, but they quickly became more severe with each passing day. Doctors tried everything they could to save Jan, but all to no avail. Little Jan had died just three months ago, just a few days shy of his first birthday. The whole family was devastated and Claudia had spent the whole morning period consoling the heartbroken Anna. Now, as Claudia stared at Benz, she just couldn't help but think about Jan. With tears in her eyes, she silently prayed to God that her baby wouldn't suffer the same fate as Jan. Three days later, Thomas was in his room resting after he had visited his wife and baby at the clinic. When he heard on the radio that the striking doctors had suspended their strike, an idea then hit Thomas immediately. Why not go over to Dr. Kovach, 
whom he strongly believed had picked a special interest in Benz's case to inform him of Benz's illness. Being a more experienced doctor than Dr. Mitrovich, perhaps, Kovac would be in a better position to handle Benz's condition, Thomas reasoned. So the following morning, Thomas rushed over to the Zekes Feherwar hospital to see Dr. Kovac. The doctor recognized Thomas immediately, warmly greeted him and asked him how is my special albino friend without preambles. Thomas promptly told the doctor about Benz's sickness. Dr. Kovac was stunned. Removing his trademark huge glasses in obvious shock, Dr. Kovac asked Thomas in a loud, puzzled voice, Which doctor made the diagnosis? Dr. Mitrovich of the Mitrovich Clinic, Thomas replied at once. That quack half-bred chemist that goes around calling himself a doctor, Kovac replied mockingly. He's even lucky that he hasn't been arrested yet. But the way he's going, I bet that he will soon have to face the music. Kovac added. Thomas was stunned beyond words. When he finally recovered himself, he asked Dr. Kovac, I don't understand, sir. That skin infection is quite a rare and progressive one. And I can bet my entire medical practice that your baby boy doesn't have that infection. Kovac slowly replied. Thomas felt a cold shiver round down his spine. Then he asked Dr. Kovac, So what do we do then, sir? I want you to bring my special albino friend over as soon as possible. For a proper test. Dr. Kovac answered Thomas with a tone of finality. That did it for Thomas. He drove to the Mitrovich clinic at once. When he got to the clinic, Dr. Mitrovich was not around, but his assistant nurse was present. Thomas immediately paid the nurse all the expenses that Benz's stay at the clinic had accrued. Then he rushed into his baby's ward, where he met Claudia breastfeeding Benz. Claudia noticed her husband's urgency and stared puzzlingly at him as he went about packing their stuff. When Claudia anxiously asked her husband what was going on, Thomas simply responded that they were going to see Dr. Kovac at once. Barely just two hours later, the couple together with Benz were at the Zekes Fehervar hospital. Dr. Kovac promptly took the crying Benz from Claudia and rushed them off to the testing room. About three hours later, Dr. Kovac came out of the testing room with a white grin across his face. He went straight to the couple and informed them that the tests performed on Benz confirmed that he was actually suffering from common cold, often referred to as flu, and not any sort of skin infection. Your baby will absolutely be fine in just a couple of days with the right treatment, Kovac assured the bewildered-looking couple before he took his leave. To say that Claudia and Thomas were shocked would be an understatement. They were bewildered beyond belief. Claudia immediately burst into tears, but this time it was tears of joy and not of sorrow. Barely five days later, Benz had fully recovered, just like Dr. Kovac had assured his parents. The couple profusely thanked Dr. Kovac for saving their baby's life. As they were doing so, Dr. Kovac suggested to them that he was willing to use that very opportunity to conduct a series of meticulous tests on Benz. According to him, the tests would finally put to rest the puzzling question about the real reason for Benz's unique hair and skin tone. The couple gladly consented at once. After almost a week of intensive, meticulous tests, Dr. Kovac and his team of doctors finally made a breakthrough discovery. They conclusively confirmed that Benz's white hair was not a result of albinism, as they had been told. Instead, it was the result of a completely new gene found in Benz's system. This gene had never been seen before, and it was not present in either of Benz's parents. The doctors were amazed, as they had never seen anything like it before. They explained to Claudia and Thomas that they had found a new gene in Benz's DNA that was responsible for his white hair. Of course, there was still the mystery of how Benz had developed this new gene, but the doctors were convinced that it was some sort of random and harmless genetic mutation. Whatever the cause, Benz's hair color was a truly remarkable phenomena. Dr. Kovac further explained to Claudia and Thomas that Benz was not even an albino, as initially thought, as a small amount of melanin was found in his system. Furthermore, his hair color would most likely change as he got older and his body produced more melanin. But for now, he had the most unique white hair in the world. Claudia and Thomas were shocked but hugely relieved when they learned about all the shocking revelations. Their baby was truly more remarkable than they could have ever imagined. What a surprise. What, what do you make of Benz's unique white hair? And have you met a person with such unusual and inexplicable features? Feel free to share your comments with us in the comment section. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.